actually ended up in franchising by accident. Um, so when I left university, my goal really was to become a teacher. Um, went to the um, approval for the course, the PGC course, and sadly didn't get on. So at that point I was like, well, I'll have to wait another year. I'll have to find a, a job in the meantime. I wanted to buy my own house. Um, and so I did what we did in those days, which is I got the local paper and I circled literally every job in, in the paper and sent my CV off. And I ended up then starting to work for a company who was just venturing out on their journey into franchising. Um, they were in office stationery and printer cartridges. And so the role, my very first role was actually franchise assistant. I didn't really know much about franchising at that point. Um, but actually, the more I got to learn and understand what it was all about, I absolutely fell in love with the concept and the model. Uh, I stayed with that company for four years, learned a heck of a lot, um, and then I ended up going to uh, work for a company called Thorntons, who are a confectionery company. Um, little, uh, it, it was little known that actually, out of their 600 retail estate, about 300 of their stores were franchised. So I was there, opened around 80 of their franchise stores with them and uh, 13 years ago, 2010, we're going to 2010, I came across an amazing company called Home and Step um, and that was an opportunity that brought all my experiences of my previous two roles into a company that was actually truly making a difference with a really strong purpose and, and, and really trying to pioneer the way that home care should be delivered. I think one of the things that we've always done at Home Instead is strive to be a really ethical franchisor and being an ethical franchisor means that you build a model and infrastructure and support that allows individuals that are deciding to take a Home Instead franchise with us and, and, and people that we choose to be our partners to be as successful as they can be in their local territories. Um, we've always invested ahead of the curve. We generally believe that if we've got the right ratio of support staff here to the number of franchise owners in the network, then we're enabling them to really harness the good things that we do here at local level to be able to expedite their growth and obviously reach more clients and deliver the outstanding service that Home Instead provides. benefits of owning a franchise are number one you are investing in a proven model a model that has been designed and developed over a period of time so you know that if you follow the model you'll be successful and you'll know that the franchise will continually strive to improve the model uh, as, as things progress and the second thing is that you have the benefit of working within a brand that is already established and well known um, also using that brand to be able to design the sales and marketing activity at local level. I think the other thing about working within a franchise is the fact that you have the opportunity to collaborate not just with your own national office but also your peers within the franchise network and obviously equally as important with the franchise industry in general as well particularly through the British Franchise Association. And I think the final thing is very much around innovation and systems as well as looking at uh, thought leadership and market trends you know, to be able to pull together policies, procedures, infrastructure for a franchisee um, as, a, as, a, as a collective rather than individual franchisees doing it at that local level means that actually time can be spent actually running the business rather than trying to do the admin and process in the background. So winning the EWIF Ambassador of the Year Award uh, was really special because it was actually recognition for work that not only I do here at Home Instead, but the whole team do, um, when supporting other franchisors who are just starting out in their journey of franchising. Um, one of the things that I really believe is that you pay it forward. You know, I've had the benefit throughout my career of being able to talk and spend time with other franchisors who are ahead of us within their journey um, and really learn and understand what they're doing. So to be able to welcome other franchisors who are just starting out on their journey into our national office and allow them to have time with different teams and different members of our uh, support structure uh, is, is really something um, quite incredible because it allows them to understand what things have made us successful 
but also enable them to avoid some of the hurdles that we've had and hopefully um, help them be an ethical and strong franchisor. Multi-unit and enterprise ownership and that as an opportunity for us is really important at Homestead because it's part of our franchise or journey. We will always want and always need single owners operating single territories. That's, that's the very core and essence of Homestead. But we do believe that through having franchise owners that can have more than one, maybe up to 10 franchise operations with us, will allow us to be able to streamline some of the support, be able to allow them to centralise some of their services as well as being able to actually reach more markets um, through the multi-unit acquisition programme. So we are really keen to look not only for people who want to run a, a single operation with us, but also for people who want to really kind of build a portfolio of homestead franchises with us. So um, anybody that's obviously interested, we would love to, to hear from them. First and foremost, the British Franchise Association, the BFA, is a body and um, organisation that allows franchisors to make sure that they're going to be ethical in their practices. Um, when you become a member of the BFA, you sign up to, to their code of conduct um, and their code of ethics. So I think firstly, um, the, 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 the reason why the, the BFA exists is to, to make franchising ethical across the UK. And that's something that's really close to my heart. I think, you know, if you are going to be working with individuals that are going to be investing more often than not their life savings into a business model, you want to make sure that that business model is sound and actually the franchise law is sound. So to be able to promote that and to be able to make sure that other franchisors are involved in the BFA is, is really important and really important to franchising across the UK. Being a member of the BFA not only gives you access to a wealth of individuals who are all on their franchise or journey themselves, so the peer support, the collaboration in, our, in itself is, is, is worth joining the BFA. But outside of that, you've got training programmes, you've got opportunities to go to conferences and learn at workshops, you've got opportunities to really understand uh, trends and, and, and data within the franchise arena and also be part of an organisation that really hold, holds up their standards and their code of ethics to make sure that you as a franchisor really strive to be the best you can be within franchising. And what does that do? That means that you'll attract the better candidates of franchisees and enable you to, to build a really strong, stable franchise operation. So the BFA's Qualified Franchise Professional Programme is a programme that allows a franchisor to be able to send their staff, their team, onto a training programme that teaches them all the things that they need to know to be a qualified franchise person. Everything from recruitment through to how to support and manage financials for a franchisee through to how to manage and support franchise owners out in the field. So not only does it allow a franchisor to have qualified people within their business, that also allows a franchisor to have the opportunity to invest in their people, invest in their team, and show personal development uh, to their team as well. One of the things that we love at Home Instead and, and what uh, Immy and Luke and the franchise development team really uh, love seeing is that when you meet an individual for the first time who wants to run a Home Instead franchise, whether that's a a new one, a resale or a portfolio of multi-unit um, territories. They come along, they have the belief and the ambition that they can do this, they've got an amazing brand behind them, but maybe they don't have the confidence or they understand that franchising is the best opportunity for them. So we start them out on that journey, we, we talk to them, we write, you know, support them with their business plans. And then when you see them two, three, four years later and you bump into them at a conference or you go and see them at the office, and they've got a big business and they've got a team of people who are making it's providing amazing care in the local community but equally as important they've got the lifestyle and and, and the return that they actually deserve and and, and strived out to, to achieve in the first place that's actually a real sense of satisfaction because you know that we home instead has had a part to play in that and i think there's not many jobs in the in the world that allows you to have such a, an, an impact on 
lots of people's lives in the way that we do at National Office.